Let's put both our hands towards Mother Earth. Devan Mantra to Shri Adi Bhumi Devi. Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha. One mantra to Shri Adi Kundalini, the Kundalini of Shri Mataji, the Adi Shakti, that reflects within us as our own Kundalini. So we put on our, our attention on the Divine Kundalini, the Adi Kundalini. Um, Shri Adi Kundalini Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Mother, please dissolve all my false identifications, all my judgments, all my conditioning, my attachments. Please awaken through my central channel, cleansing and balancing my energy center. so that I, I can experience the joy and the love of our spirit within us to establish or establishing the thoughtless awareness, experiencing the divinity within us, all our innate, beautiful qualities that are within us, that we are as the spirit. Mother, please, we invite you To be present on your throne. We welcome you during our collective morning meditation. Please come in our hearts and our minds. Please establish your presence on my Sahasra. The 
please accept the offering of our hearts, the flower of our hearts at your lotus feet. Bring both our hands onto our lap. Attention on the Moladhar. Left hand towards Mother Earth, please. Here we we'll say the mantra for Sri Nirmal Ganesha. Sakshat Sri Nirmal Ganesha Sakshat Sri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devyai Namo Namaha. Mother, I am innocent. Shri Mataji, you are Shri Ganesha. Please let your lotus feet. I want to my mother now. Shri Ganesha, you who are our brother, the sentry at the gateway of the Muladhar, the gateway protecting us from sliding down this gateway to the path away from our ascent to the path of health. Please protect us. Bring our attention back to the center, Muladhar, please. Mother, I am innocent. Bring her hand back onto our lap. Attention on the center muladhar. We say the mantra for Sri Ganesha Gauri. Om Vameva Sakshat. Shri Ganesha Gauri Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Shri Mataji, let your presence as Shri. Ganesha Gauri be established within the collective. Mother, please make me innocent.
Left hand towards Mother Earth. Attention on the right Muladhar. Mother, you who are Shri Kartikeya, you who are the destroyer of all the negativities and badhas, you who are the killer of all the devils and demons, please let your presence be established during our morning meditation. Say one mantra to Shri Kartikeya. Om Swami Vasakshat Shri Kartikeya Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha. Mother, please make me worthy of your attention, of your appreciation. One mantra to Sarva Rakshasa Hantri. Let's actually do this four times. Om Tvani Sakshat Sarva Rakshasa Hantri Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devyai Namo Namaha Om Tvani Vaisakshat Sarva Rakshasa Hantri Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devyai Namo Namaha Om Tvani Vaisakshat Sarva Rakshasa Hantri Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Tvami Sakshat Sarva Rakshasa Hantri Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Mother, please destroy all the evil in me. Please destroy all the obstacles in the path of my ascent. Mother, please bring all the negativity, all the hidden negativity that my brain is not conscious of, that I am not aware of, that are hindering my ascent. Negativity within me and without. That drag me down from my spiritual or away from my spiritual path, my spiritual ascent of the union with the divine. 
Mother, please destroy all the evil in me. We slowly bring our left hand on our lap. Just slowly use our right hand to raise our kundalini in the front. Bring it all the way up to the sahasra with our attention. Just have your hand a few inches above the sahasra. Move your attention in that space between your hand and your head. Leave it there for a few minutes. If your hands start to feel sore and heavy, please bring your hand down. You can put your left hand back up there. This mantra, Shri Maha Ganesha. Om Tvame Vasakshat Shri Mahaganesha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Shri Mahabhirava Om Tvame Vasakshat Shri Mahabhairava Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Shri Mahatmanas Om Tvame Vasakshat Shri Mahatmanas Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Shri Mahadahankar Om Tvameva Sakshat Shri Mahadahankar Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Shri Hiranyagarbha Om Tvameva Sakshat Shri Hiranyagarbha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Shri Satya Om Tvameva Sakshat Shri Satya Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Shri Mahachitta Om Tvameva Sakshat Shri Mahachitta Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji 
श्री निर्मला देव्य नमो नमः श्री आदिशक्ति ओम त्वमेव साक्षात श्री आदिशक्ति साक्षात श्री आदिशक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्य नमो नमः श्री विराट ओम त्वमेव साक्षात श्री विराट साक्षात श्री आदिशक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्य नमो नमः श्री कल्की ओम त्वमेव साक्षात श्री कल्की साक्षात श्री आदिशक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्य नमो नमः श्री सदाशिव ओम त्वमेव साक्षात श्री सदाशिव साक्षात श्री आदिशक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्य नमो नमः श्री अर्धमात्रा ओम त्वमेव साक्षात श्री अर्धमात्रा साक्षात श्री आदिशक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्य नमो नमः श्री बिंदु ओम त्वमेव साक्षात श्री बिंदु साक्षात श्री आदिशक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्य नमो नमः श्री वलय ओम त्वमेव साक्षात श्री वलय साक्षात श्री आदिशक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्य नमो नमः श्री आदि ब्रह्म तत्व ओम त्वमेव साक्षात श्री आदि ब्रह्म तत्व साक्षात श्री आदि शक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्य नमो नमः श्री सर्वस्व ओम त्वमेव साक्षात श्री सर्वस्व साक्षात श्री आदिशक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्य नमो नमः श्री सहस्रार स्वामिनी ओम त्वमेव साक्षात श्री सहस्रार स्वामिनी साक्षात श्री आदिशक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्य नमो नमः श्री मोक्षदायिनी ओम त्वमेव साक्षात श्री मोक्षदायिनी साक्षात श्री आदिशक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्य 
नमो नमः श्री महायोगदायिनी ओमेव साक्षात श्री महायोगदायिनी साक्षात श्री आदिशक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्य नमो नमः The Sarah Strara is oak is represented by the lotus flower. Sarasrara is represented by the lotus, and is it is the lotus at the moment? Is the lotus losing its petals, and the fruit developing? You see, it is represented as lotus because our brain is like a lotus. Actually, if you cut it horizontally, you can see uh, as if you have cut the petals, and uh, if you cut it vertically. 
you can see that around the what uh, uh, around the limbic area it is just like petals of lotus but when you are enlightened what happens they swell up and they open out and they all have beautiful colors they look like tongues of flames so it's very beautiful now the sastra is open and the lotus is open and inside you find the fruit already there kept uh, which is the agya chakra which sees there you can see it very clearly agya is yellow um, yellow covered uh, as we say like a gold gold cap is the agya there beautiful agya is inside now the fruit of the of the lotus is later on we see and uh, i would say that is called as bindu state where you become a bindu a uh, dot is a little dot and that dot has to then grow so is the second stage starts when you become the fruit of the lotus Could you say something about those higher chakras about the sansara? What chakra? I've heard people talk about the the bindu and the adu bindu and the higher chakras about that. But you see, I don't think you should worry too much about these. There's uh, three stages higher than sastrara. I would suggest just now. Let us concentrate on sastra as a better idea. But bindu, artha bindu, and valaya are the three stages in which one has to pass through later on, and they would you would pass gradually when you develop yourself horizontally. That's what we have started now. So let us keep to this idea that we have to develop ourselves horizontally. We should see how we affect the other person. how we influence the another person for example some people as if they are very egotistical and all that they may uh, come in contact with you so oh, very nice person charming person this that but actually that person is just very physically may be attractive or uh, or maybe a little brilliant type of a person but doesn't have anything much in it but if that person standing next to you changes the mood and temperament of another person then you can see that this person has a spiritual personality so let us see how you affect the nature uh, flowers you saw the miracle of the flowers that i performed for you the other day in the same way let us see what is the effect of your character on the um, on the trees on your friends or in the food that you make everything changes it's very beautiful so we have to see that how it works out i have known people who have never known what is poetry is suddenly they become poets some who were never musicians started singing so well like christine you know christine she never used to sing she had a horrible voice and suddenly she started uh, singing like a cuckoo bird <laughs> so not only you but on others what effect is that what others feel about you you see how you are kind good and uh, sweet to others not superficially but your behavior should change another person transform another person your presence should bring auspiciousness same heart that the poets like Kabir has have for you how can we develop the same heart that these great poets have same heart as what kabir the poet kabir <laughs> why not <laughs> see the handicap of kabir 
कि हैव नो हैंडी कैप्स कभी हैड नो मदर टू टेल हिम नो मदर टू लव हिम लुक आफ्टर हिम एंड टेल हिम ऑल दीज थिंग्स ये द गुरु यू नो कबीर लाइफ कबीर वॉन्टेड टू बिकम द डिसाइपल ऑफ रामानंद स्वामी बट ही वॉज अ मुस्लिम और लोग कास्ट ऑफ वट एवर इट इज सो ही कुड नॉट रीच रामानंद स्वामी द डिसाइपल्स वुड नॉट अलाउ हिम टू गो नियर रामानंद स्वामी सो वन डे कबीर अवेंट एंड स्लेप्ट ऑन द steps of the river ganges whole night in the uh, in the cold uh waiting for ramanand swami to come because he used to always pass the same way and his feet fell on kabira and he said oh my child what are you doing here? so kabira got up and he said sir you have accepted me as your disciple today he said yes i have and then Ramanand Swami took him, and he trained him into something great. You don't have these handicaps. The Kabira never had anybody to support him or help him around. Actually, single-handed, he fought the whole world. Horrible people were around him. Even today, those who are in his place in Patna, or in all places where he lived. I was surprised that he described Kundalini as Surati, and they described tobacco as Surati. Such horrible, nonsensical people making fun of everything. There, Kabira lived and developed that heart. You don't have all these handicaps at all. You all speak the same language. You live with the same ideas. You have your own mother to tell you everything, so you can develop the same heart. As Kabira had. Mother, when when I meditate, when I meditate, sometimes I can see <coughs> I can see beautiful, uh, uh, like a massive flower coming out of the head, or a beautiful sort of a goldy, like almost like a, uh, like a vase, and. Um, I've been asking people, and uh, I don't know. They, they don't know really the answer, and I don't know it either. But I have not taken. No, that's action. that's the Kundalini that you see. It's like a telescope, you see, like a, a goldenish, um, yellowish, um, sort of a, like a heated you know, it's like, iron. It's like a furnace. Yes, a furnace, like a furnace. That's the Kundalini you see. and that's a good thing to see <clears throat> but when you see you are not there so it's better is not to see that and be, yeah but what you see is that is the kundalini is good i mean seeing is very good but go beyond it so i don't don't want to see it now i want to enter into it yes last night for instance i was uh, uh, sleeping with my little girl and in in her bed she asked me to come and we meditated and it was enormous And I woke up suddenly. Woke up. In your dream, you saw. I don't know whether it was a dream or whether I was still meditating. But in was... dream, if you see, is very good. But otherwise, in meditation, you should not see it. In the dream, if you see, is very good. Is the kundalini itself? It's like a furnace. It looks like a silent, burning furnace. Sometimes like fireworks. It's yes. Quite beautiful. But you shouldn't see it anymore. Right. Huh? <laughs> Try to avoid. One of the easiest way to open the Sahasra, establish Mother's feet, her presence on our Sahasra, is from our heart. Offer thank you. For all she has done for us, for saving us, for bringing us to Sahaj, our realization, for keeping us in our path of Sahaj, helping us 
glory for blessing us. The humility and the love in our hearts to just offer a few thank yous at the Sahasra. As you're reading and we're saying thank you, we just offer a little flower. The love of our hearts at Mother's feet on our Sahasra. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you, Sri Mataji. For the opportunity of collective meditation in your divine presence and the family of Sahaja We raise our Kundalinis and put ourselves in a bundle. We can continue to sit for meditation for a few more minutes.
This is how Sahaja Yoga acts in even in every age. These small children who have gathered, they have themselves arranged all the program, they have composed everything and without taking any help from the elders and they have become so dynamic. They are all doing very well in classes. Most of them are first class, first scholarship holders and it's something so dynamic that happens to them. And the way they have composed the whole thing, this is all their own poetry, everything their own. So you can imagine how beautifully Sir Yoga can act on simple hearts. May God bless them. Big, big clap, please. Thank you very much. Have a great day.